Hello friends, welcome to Wi-Fi Study.com, one stop destination for all competitive exam. Friends, in this video, we are going to present you Current Affairs 2016 November 3rd week in English. So friends, if you want to prepare from the application mode, you can download the Wi-Fi Study app. This is a very useful app and you will get daily current affairs, GK test, lot more GK material in this application in both the formats that, it, that is in Hindi and in English. And you can download this app from the Google Play. And this app is very beneficial for your all the exams like Banking, SC, UPSC, Railways, defense every exam so friend this page is very important for you as there is a one pendrive course which is launched by us that is a to z vocab video pendrive and in this pendrive you will get nearby 60 videos and 3000 words in which you will get a meaning in hindi short tracks synonyms example and images and this all these videos are made by using a very common trick and very short trick by which you will easily able to remember the vocabs and if any query you can call on this number or you can mail us that is support at wifi study.com so friends if you want to prepare uh, your english or vocabulary from the application mode you can download our app that is vocab 24 and if you uh, search on the play store by typing vocab 24 you will get application and that application consists of daily hindu editorials 10 new words vocabs idiom phrases and dictionary everything which is relevant with and which is important for your english vocabulary so friends, if you like this video, you can subscribe us so that we can help you uh, more in your preparation by providing more videos, more content, more GK. So friends, let's start from the international section first. After that, we'll go to cover the national, then trade and banking, economics, and then sports, everything which is relevant to your exam and which is important for your exam from the third week of the November. So let's start from the international questions. Which country has announced an online program for its preschool to learn Hindi? So there is a one country which recently announced that they will going to conduct an online program for its preschool to learn Hindi. So let's go to the news. Australia announced an online program for its preschool to learn foreign languages including Hindi. So there are nearby five languages which are going to be published by the Australian government and they will going to introduce in the preschools. So Hindi is one of them. So your answer is Australia. A is your answer. And what is the capital of Australia? Canberra is the capital of Australia and the currency is Australian dollar. So these are the also important things that we are going to discuss. Boyko Bossiro, who has resigned, resigned recently, was the Prime Minister of which country? So there is one Prime Minister which recently resigned and uh, we need to give the name of it. So let's go to the news. The Bulgarian Prime Minister Boyko Bossiro gave resignation of his cabinet after his party candidate Treska Treskeva failed to win the country's presidential election on November 14. So he is a Bulgarian Prime Minister who recently resigned. And the, Bulgar the capital of the Bulgaria is Sofia and currency is Leave. You also need to remember these things. And the neighboring countries of the Bulgaria is Turkey. It is surrounded by the Turkey, Romania, Greece, Macedonia and the Serbia. So these are the neighboring countries which is from which Bulgaria is surrounded. So your answer is Bulgaria. C is your answer. International Day for Tolerance is observed on which date? So let's go to the news. The International Day for Tolerance is observed globally on 16th November every year. So your answer is C. 16th November, the aim at inducing masses, educating masses about the need for tolerance in society and helping them understand the negative impacts, uh, impacts of intolerance or effects of intolerance. So in this, the so there is a mass program which is launched by the uh, organizes different organizations to teach the need of tolerance in the society and helping them understanding the negative effects of intolerance. So your answer is 16th November, International Day for Tolerance. World Philosophy Day, 17th November. It is observed globally on the third Tuesday of the November every year. And this year, UNESCO organized the special events. And it was first induced in the 2002 by the UNESCO to encourage the world to share their philosophical heritage and open their minds to new ideas. So World Philosophy Day, 17th November. India ranks 20 on the Climate Change Performance Index. India is ranked 20 on the Climate Change Performance Index and India scored nearby 60 marks in it and Saudi Arabia ranked last with a score of 25. Okay, the publication was issued by German Watch and Climate Action Network Europe. So India ranked on 20th place on Climate Change Performance Index. Very important question. Which is the Oxford Dictionary Word of the Year? So let's go to the news. Oxford D Dictionary has declared post-truth to be its international word of the year, sitting a 2000% spike in this usage. So your answer is A, that is post-truth. Which country has recently left International Criminal Court, ICC, International Criminal Court? So this is the organization who, who's has, has, whose headquarters is in Hague, uh, Netherlands, and it was firstly 
came into force in 2002 it has nearby 124 members and russia is the country which recently quit the international criminal court so the answer is d world international uh, internet conference 2016 concludes in the wuhan china so world internet conference held uh, held in wuhan china the theme of the third world Inter uh, internet conference was building a community of a common future in cyberspace this is the theme of the world internet conference and the capital of the china is beijing currency is yuan renminbi and president is jinping so these are the few more Im uh, important information that you need to remember which is the most common indian indian surname in uk so let's see the news first patel has emerged as the most common indian surname in the uk according to a new oxford dictionary released other surnames to find a place in the new dictionary include chakrabarti which derives from sanskrit chakrabarti meaning wheels rolling so the most common surname in the uk is patel indian surname common indian surname is patel and the capital of the uk is london currency is pound and the prime minister is theresa may first bollywood theme park was opened recently in which city so let's see the news the world first bollywood theme park has been opened in the dubai the live lively park boost cinemas theater rides and 4d shows okay that shows the popularity of the indian cinemas there so your answer is a that is dubai first bollywood theme park india became associate member of cer and cern india and the european organization for nuclear research signed an agreement making india an associate member of the cer and cern so this is the organization that operates the uh, largest particle physics laboratory in the world largest particle physics laboratory largest particle physics laboratory in the world and israel is the only country out there which is a non european and still israel is the member of the member of this organization non european member only non european member and india became the associate member of it and this organization was founded in 1954 its headquarters is in geneva switzerland and it has nearby 22 members it has 22 members okay so you need to remember this information which country has recently signed a joint declaration for automatic exchange of information with india so let's go to the news india and switzerland signed joint declaration for automatic exchange of information so india and switzerland came to the joint agreement joint declaration agreement so your answer is a that is switzerland and the few more information related to switzerland is its capital that is bern bern is a de facto capital okay this this uh, this not a, not a, even a single capital of the switzerland and bern is considered as a de facto there are two capitals like de facto and de jure de jure is the real capital and de facto is the is the imaginary capital like all the other people of the different nations considered this place as their capital so bern is the de facto capital and the currency is franc now national news firstly we'll cover the international news now we are going to to the national news so esic has launched kabhi kahi bhi kabhi bhi medical facilities for its beneficiaries in which state so esic is what employer state insurance corporation has launched kahi bhi kabhi bhi medical facilities for its beneficiaries of delhi so delhi is the place where this facility is launched by the esic so your answer is b kahi bhi means dispensary hospital and kabhi bhi means any time which city has been termed as a india's breast cancer capital so let's see news tiruvannathpuram has been termed as the country's breast cam uh, breast cancer capital which cases at a record high of 40 per lakh of population so nearby 9 lakh women are diagnosed with the breast cancer every year your answer is a that is tiruvannathpuram is considered as the breast cancer capital of india union budget 2017 is proposed to be presented on which date so let's see the news first the government has announced that it will present the union budget for 1718 on fab 1 and the budget session may begin in january so the government has issued the the customary budget circulation in september notably the center earlier approved the scrapping of the 92 year old practice of presenting a separate railway budget and a merge in it with the union budget so recently india scrapped the 92 year old practice of presenting a railway budget and the union budget differently okay so they merged these two budget together and your answer is first fab the union budget 2017 is proposed to be present on first fab So your answer is A. Which state has uh, launched free electricity connection program recently? So let's go to the news first. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar has Nitish Kumar has launched a key program to provide free electricity connections to about 50 lakh household above the poverty line. With the law scheme, Har Ghar Bijli Lagatar program, 
which was key development thrust for the assembly poles so the name of the and uh, name of the program is har ghar bijli lagatar program and it is launched by the nitish kumar the chief minister of the bihar so it is launched in bihar this scheme is launched in bihar what is the aadhar toll aadhar toll free helpline number launched recently so with the uh, growing use of the aadhar in transaction related to the services like banking government welfare scheme etc the unique identification authority of india launched their revamped version of its toll free helpline number 1947 1947 to help residents to get quick access to information about aadhar so your answer is 1947 that is b is your answer this it is first in the swachh bharat awareness campaign in urban areas so let's go to the news aligarh leads 500 cities aligarh leads 500 cities in undertaking swachh awareness generation activities under the fortnightly thematic activities as required under the swachh swachh sarvekshan 2017 launched by the ministry of urban development so aligarh is the city which topped in the swachh bharat awareness program in urban areas so your answer is c which is the first state to adopt resolution on demonetization so let's see news chatisgarh has become the first state to adopt a resolution welcoming the demonetization of high value currency notes and the chief minister of the chatisgarh is raman singh so your answer is c chatisgarh is a place is a, is a state to adopt a resolution on demonetization pm launches housing for all in rural areas so prime minister narendra modi has formally launched housing for all in rural areas under which the government proposes to provide an environmentally safe and secure pakka house to every rural household by 2022 named the pradhan mantri awas yojana gramin in its first phase the target is to complete 1 crore houses by march 2019 so the name of the scheme is pradhan mantri awas yojana which state has topped the list of internet subscribers in india so let's go to the news first maharashtra has the highest number of internet subscriber in the country at the nearby 30 million followed by the state like tamil nadu andhra and karnataka so your answer is maharashtra has the highest number of internet subscriber in india and the capital of maharashtra is mumbai cm is the devendra fadnavis and the governor is vidya sagar rao so these are the few info, uh, important information for you which navy inducts indian navy inducts four indigenous sonars so what is a sonar first that is sound navigation and ranging sound navigation and ranging it is majorly used in the water in the in the oceans or in the sea to transmit the information or the other things so the indian navy has formally inducted four types of indigenously developed sonars that will boost its underwater surveillance capital capability so to boost the underwater surveillance as i told you before it is used in the underwater for the surveillance capability the name of the four uh, indigenous sonars are abhay hamsa nacs and aidss so these are the four name which are related to the indigenous sonars which guided missile destroyer was inducted in the indian navy recently so let's go to the news ins chennai ap15a guided missile destroyer was commissioned to the indian navy by the defense minister manohar parikar at the impressive ceremony held at the mumbai so this is indigenously designed by the indian navy organization and the name of it is ins chennai so guided missile destroyer which police emergency management system was launched by the akhilesh yadav recently So Akhilesh Yadav is the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh has launched one of its dream project the UP 100 and they said that they that the police will reach to help within 15 to 20 minutes after UP 100 is called from any urban or rural areas okay so answer is UP 100 they claim that the police will reach within 15 to 20 minutes after UP 100 is called from any urban or rural areas and the capital is lucknow cm is the akhilesh yadav and governor is the ram nayak shanghai festival 2016 kicks off in manipur so with the aim to promote manipur as a potential tourist destination the annual manipur shanghai festival this year will be termed themed destination manipur and this is a 10 day festival uh, which showcases the best of what the state has to offer in the terms of art culture handloom handicraft as well as fine arts so this is the name of the festival you need to remember that it is belong to the Manipur the capital of the Manipur is Imphal chief minister is the Okram Ibobi Singh and the governor is the Nazma Abdullah 13 world robot olympiad in india for the first time in which nearby 2000 students took uh, part in it and nearby 54 countries participated the theme is wrap the scrap is in line with the swachh bharat mission of the government so first time 13 uh, world robot olympiad in india now trade and banking who is the head of the task force to expedite atm recalibration 
so there's a lot more problems which are related to the atm right now in the country so there's a task force bill to tackle that to expedite the expedite the atm recalibration so let's go to the news the rbi rbi has set up a task force under the chairpersonship of the rbi deputy governor ss mundra to ensure that atm across the country as ready to dispatch new denomination notes so your answer is ss mudra your answer is a so let's do another question which country has launched 95 million dollar clean energy projects with india so then there is a one country which launched nearby 95 million dollar clean energy projects with india so let's see the news first as par has part of its effort to continue the global transition to zero and low carbon energy sources The United States has announced two financial projects worth 95 million US dollar for India. So US is the country which tied up with the India for the clean energy projects. So your answer is C. That is USA, United States of America. India ADB Asian Development Bank signed 500 million dollar loan pact to build 9.8 kilometer Ganga Bridge in Bihar. So that is Asian Development Bank and the government of India on 15 November signed a nearby 500 million us dollar to build a nearby 10 kilometer bridge across the ganga river and it will be the longest bridge river bridge okay and it will be going to be built on ganga river mumbai metro goes cashless in order to counter the currency uh, cash crunch post demonetization mumbai metro said it will issue single and return journey tokens in real time cashless transition so for this mumbai metro tied up with the patm Gwadar port is in which country this is a very famous port which is in news from the past two years and uh, let's see the news first prime minister pakistan prime minister nawaz sharif inaugurated a trade route linking the southwest gwadar port to khajgar city in china as a part of 46 billion dollar project to jump start economic growth in the south asia country and it is a part of the china pakistan economic corridor linking western china to the arabian sea became a reality so your answer is pakistan it is in pakistan which country has cancelled 1 billion dollar expressway project with the indian firm ilfs so let's see the news nepal has abruptly cancelled all all agreements with indian construction firm ilfs to build a 1 billion usd expressway project connecting the nepalese capital with the southern southern terai region near the indian border so nepal is a country which cancel this project so answer is d nepal and the capital of the ne- nepal is the kathmandu Ka- currency is the rupee prime minister is the pushpa kumar J- dahal and the president of the nepal is bindya devi bandhari which state has signed agreement with idfc bank for cashless transaction so let's see, go to the news the telangana government along with the idfc bank took the initiative to enable cashless transaction to is the do- ch- is the change program or the problem So the shopping for the vegetable was issued coupon worth rupees five ten twenty so that the vendors don't suffer a loss. So IDFC Bank is was founded in two thousand fifteen. Headquarters is in Mumbai, and the Telangana capital is Hyderabad. Chief Minister is the Chandrasekhar Rao, and the Governor is the E S L Nara Simhan. Now let's see the appointments. Which Test uh, cricket playing nation has appointed a woman as the president of the cricket board? So let's go to the news. Debbie Hockley has been elected as the president of New Zealand cricket. She is the first woman to hold that role in a 122 years old history of the sport's national governing body. So her answer is New Zealand. It is the first country in the 122 years old history of the cricket that the female pres- the president of the cricket board is made as female. Who has been appointed as the chairperson of the Tata Glo- Global Beverages? So Cyrus Misri was removed as the chairperson of the Tata Global Beverages by the board on 15th November by voting for the post. and the new is the harish bhat is appointed as a chairperson of this tata beverages so your answer is harish bhat cvr rajendran has been appointed as an md and ceo of which bank so the reserve bank of india has approved the appointment of cvr rajendra as a md and ceo of catholic syrian bank so the name of the bank is catholic syrian bank so your answer is b and its headquarter is in kerala and it was founded in 1920 who has been appointed as a mumbai indian head coach so let's go to the news mahila jayawardhan has been appointed as a head coach of the indian premier league side mumbai indians the franchise announced and the previously was the ricky ponting and right now uh, it will be going to work with the john wright and later as a full time head coach so mahila jayawardhan became the head coach of the mumbai indians sabhi sebastian appointed ceo of sbm bank so state bank of mauritius as grouped as appointed appointed sebi sebastian as ceo for its india operations 
Morris's for its part represent the Indian principal source of FDI inflow into India the bank said who has been appointed as the president of Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry that is FICCI Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry so your answer is Pankaj Patel is appointed as a FICCI president and this organization was founded in 1927 and headquarter is in new delhi dr aluminiya bernard elu who was elected for the second as the president of the council of international civil aviation organization is in which country so firstly international civil aviation organization was founded in 1947 and its headquarter is in montreal very important question and uh, so this person is this bernard elu is from which country so let's see the news first Bernard Elu of Nigeria was re-elected by the acclamation today for a second three-year term as president of ICAO. So he is from Nigeria. So your answer is Nigeria. D is your answer. Now let's see the awards. Which of the following has been honored with the Dr. Nagendra Singh International Peace Award? So let's see the news. Spiritual Guru Shri Shri Ravi Shankar was honored with Nagendra Singh International Peace Prize for its efforts in ensuring world peace. So your answer is Shri Shri Ravi Shankar. the founder of art of living so your not, next question is who has been honored as a centenary indian film personality of the year 2016 at the 47th iffi that is international film festival of india so the 47th international film festival of india was inaugurated in goa and the venkaiya naidu presented the centenary indian film personality of the year 2016 to the, to the legendary singer padma bhushan sp bala subramanian for his remarkable extraordinary and exceptional journey in the indian cinema as a singer actor and producer so your answer is bala subramanian b is your answer tcs awarded digital innovator of the year so the major indian it firm that is tata consultancy consultancy services has been awarded digital innovator of the year in the ecosystem excellence category at the ge minds machines events so the so the 2016 digital innovator of the year awards recognizes TCS innovation and excellence in developing the TCS digital digital store TM who has been honored with the 2016 Samitra Charat Ram award for lifetime achievement so Hari Prasad Chaurasia was conferred this year Sumitra Charat Ram award for lifetime achievement in the field of Indian classical music so the Hari Prasad Chaurasia is a very well known acclaimed person in Indian classical music so your answer is Hari Prasad Chaurasia Tata Consultancy Services and the Vedanta win ACES awards. So this ACES award is Asia Cooperative Excellence and Sustainability Award. Okay, Asia Corporate Excellence and Sustainability Award. This award goes to two Indian companies and the name of them is TCS and the Vedanta. TCS won for the industry champions in the leadership category and the Vedanta won in the top companies to work for in Asia. Which of the following has been included in the Fortune Top 50 Businessman 2016 list? So, HDFC Bank Aditya Puri has been ranked 36 in the US Magazine Fortune Top 50 Business Person list for 16 and he is the only Indian among three others of Indian origin in the global ranking. And this is the country's second largest private sector lender since its inception in 1994. So, HDFC was founded in 1994. Its headquarters is in Mumbai. and that this list is topped by the mark zuckerberg facebook founder who has been conferred with 2016 jan jan garima manand alakran award janan garima manand alakran award so the person is the hindi prominent writer that is a gyan ranjan will be conferred the honorary janan garima manand alakran award 2016 for its book for its writing skills and he was a editor of the pahal patrika the magazine has given a new new height to the indian literature okay so he is very renowned and the prominent hindi writer gyan ranjan so your answer is a gyan ranjan al nayan granted mother teresa mother teresa international award so the sheikh abdullah bin zayed al nayan was awarded the prestigious mother teresa international award by the mumbai based ngo harmony foundation and the another award is was goes to the faraz ayaz hussein a bangladeshi hostage who was killed in the terrorist attack on the dhaka holi cafe and he is the another recipient of this award who has been awarded with the shakti bhat first book prize 2016 so let's see the news the shakti bhat first book prize 2016 has been awarded to the senior journalist of the times of india that is akshay mukul for its book geeta press and the making of hindu india 
Gita Press and the making of Hindu India. So he is the non-fiction book prize for the Gita Press, and this he won the best non-fiction book prize for Gita Press and the making of Hindu India at the Ramnath Goenka Awards, where he boycotted the award because the award was distributed by the Prime Minister Modi. So your answer is Akshay Mukul. Now let's see some sports question. Haryana sprinter Dharmveer Singh banned for eight years by the National Anti Doping Agency, Anti Doping Agency NADA because he failed in the Rio Olympics at the last minute for failing and because failing a dope test and has been slapped of eight year ban by the NADA. Who has won China Open Badminton Super Series 2016? So Sindhu wins China Open Super Series and she became the second Indian woman to clinch the. This China Open after Saina Nehwal. So your answer is PV Sindhu. Andy Murray beat Djokovic to win ATP World Tour Finals. So Andy Murray became the uh, became the world number one, and he also won the ATP World Tour Finals by tipping by by beating the Novak Djokovic. Gaganjit Bullar is related to which sports? So Gaganjit Bullar of India won the Bank BRI JCB Indonesian Open Gold for the second time in his career after closing a four under par 68. And Buller won the event in 2013 also. So your answer is Gaganjit Buller. Gaganjit Buller is the person, and he is related to the golf. So your answer is C, golf. Now let's see some death. What is the name of the UK first Indian origin Sikh judge died recently? So Mota Singh, an Indian origin Sikh who became UK first ever ethnic minority judge to sit on the English bench wearing a turban instead of a horse hair wig. So he he died. At the age of 86, so your answer is Mota Singh. D is your answer. S K Sinha passed recently. He was a former governor of which state? Uh, so he was a former governor of Jammu and Kashmir. So let's see the another question. That is Ram Narayan Shadow passes away recently. So he was a former chief minister of which state? So let's see the news first. Veteran Congress leader and the former U P chief minister Ram Narayan Shadow passed away at the Lucknow after a prolonged illness. Illness. So your answer is Uttar Pradesh. He was a former chief minister of. Uttar Pradesh and he, he was a veteran Congress leader. Doctor Viveki Rai passed away recently. Who he was? So let's see the news first. Renowned Hindi and the Bhojpuri literature. Doctor Viveki Rai passed away in the Varanasi Hospital after illness, and he was a Hindi and the Bhojpuri writer. Okay, he was a renowned Hindi and the Bhojpuri writer. So your answer is A. That is writer. He is a writer. M. Bala Murli Krishna passed away recently. Who he was? So let's see the news. Singer composer Mangla. Mangla Mapli Bala Murli Krishnan was who caught the nation attention in the Doordarshan iconic music video Mile Sur Mera Tumhara. So the famous Hindi uh, iconic music video which shows the Indian culture, different Indian traditions in single video that is the Mile Sur Mera Tumhara, and he passed away. That person Bala Murli Krishnan passed away. Okay, and he was a singer and a composer. So your answer is singer composer. C is your answer. M G M G K Menon passed away recently. Who he was? So let's see the news. Renowned scientist M G K Menon, who spearheaded many scientific and development missions, passed away. He was 88 and became the director. He became the director of Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai, in 1966 at the age of 33. And he was also headed the ISRO for the nine months in 1972. So your answer is scientist. He was a scientist. So now let's see some important books which was released in the se- in the third week of the November. Who is the author of the book titled The Legend of the Lakshmi Prasad? So the actor turned author Twinkle Khanna launched her second book titled The Legend of Lakshmi Prasad, and his and her first book was Mrs. Funny Bones. She just like you and a lot like me, which was published in 2015. So your answer is Twinkle Khanna published the book na- titled The Legend of Lakshmi Prasad. Kare's two soar a body in motion a life in balance is autobiography of so let's see the news Simon Biles the most successful woman gymnast in the american history open about her life faith and struggle in her new book named Kare's two soar body in motion and a life in balance and she is also the most medal american gymnast boasting a total of 14 world championship so your answer is Simon Biles So friends hope this you like this video and you will subscribe so that we can help you in your upcoming exam so friends thank you and all the best for your exam